Let's get in the car. Let's go to Julian. Let's go somewhere cool. I know gas is expensive, but listen to me. It might be worth it to take a little road trip, enjoy oh, some beer. It. Founder and exec, look at this guy here, executive director of San Diego Beer News, my man, Brandon Hernet. He is our best friend on the show because, <laughs> Brandon, we're not messing the around The brewers today. are my best friend. I'm your best friend. You Thanks, know, brewers. Right around 9.30, whenever you're here is when it hit. Beers in the East County is what we're talking about, right? Correct. Okay. Get in your car. Enjoy some of these. We have some of the yeah. best, really, in the whole country. Where do we want to start? Let's start with, Ma see, we talked about this, right? We did. McElhenney? Ma oh, no. You are so close. McElhenney. <laughs> Just let it roll off the tongue. It's an Alpine pronunciation. Uh, so Ma McElhenney. McElhenney Brewing. McElhenney Brewing. See, I tried. I tried McElhenney Brewing. I tried in Alpine, but... Well, yeah. you're going to want them to be your friends, because this is a bona fide beer mecca out Whoa, in Alpine. Yeah. This family, the McElhenneys, yeah. they opened Alpine Beer Company back in the early 2000s, helped yeah. to define what West Coast IPAs are, yes. helped to introduce people to New Zealand hops, which are wildly popular today. I will now direct you to have this beer here because it has <laughs> one of those hops in it. It's a, called Nelson. It's a wonderful okay. beer. This is a rye New Zealand IPA. Okay. It's kind of a take is this on that the beer one, they that, used that, to make. that thing? Yes, so it's called Munts. Munts New Zealand Rye IPA. And so Munts is a Simpsons reference to Nelson Munts Nelson because there's Munts, a Nelson yeah. hop in there. But while you do that, I'll tell you, when you get to this place, it's Whoa. great. Whoa. Oh, I know. In fact, hey, now. In fact. <laughs> hey, cheers. Whoa. Wait a minute. Hey, Whoa. I, I poured for myself this time. Yeah. I'm telling you. But uh, you walk in, and it's kind of like this really cozy mm. cabin feel inside. Outside, yeah. there's this tiered right. uh, outdoor patio. And it's family-friendly, dog-friendly, shaded. Love it's that. great. It's a, good, it's a good way to spend some time just like getting out of your immediate yeah. zone, having a nice little staycation. And when people say, that if you go to Alpha and do this, like, it's a nice little setting that you have to enjoy and try all these beers, right? Yeah, and now you can bring the beers back because they started canning on their first uh, anniversary. Awesome. So it's great. So By the way, look, look at the, the size of this too. thing. Holy moly, look at the size of that. That's the Raul size. How many, how many ounces is that? That's a lot. This is 32. 32 ounces. Yeah. Holy moly, so it's my man. It's just two beers. It's just two beers or, or one, two or one you size know. beer. I'm this, telling you. This guy. Uh, okay, next up we have Nickel. Oh, the hat just. Nickel Beer Company. This one's in Julian. We talked about this. I mean, you go right. to Julian, everybody loves the apple pie in Julian, but why not try some beer? Yeah, absolutely. So we're talking about. It's all right, Javon. Okay, so we're talking about Nickel Beer Company. There are two breweries up there. This is the first, and it's in an old sheriff substation just east of downtown. It even has the uh, the jail cell still in it with the bars oh, and everything. Really? But they turned cool. it into a uh, they turned it into a game area. So I think yeah. that the, the trick is to like lure kids into there and then lock them up while you drink beer. But there's <laughs> that, also a great outdoor patio for trick, for yeah. uh, free range children and people <laughs> and drinkers. But they make a lot of great hoppy beers. This is from yeah. Tom Nickel, who Got owns O'Brien's Pub just down the street from Perfect. here. A yep. lot of other venues, and was actually okay. Brewmaster of the Year at World Beer Cup Excellent. a while back. So what we have here is Lake Cuyamaca Lager. While they're known for hops, they do all styles, and okay. this is just a really refreshing beer. Lake Cuyamaca Lager. By the way, uh, the uh, the yeah. last one was a 7.2 ABV. I yeah, that's why you knocked the hat over, right? I didn't knock the hat hands Javon over here. You know, he's having a bad day with the hands. He's not catching things and dropping <laughs> things today. Uh, we're, not, we're, not, we're not pointing fingers. We're not really pointing well, I fingers. Am. <laughs> hey, and I'm, I'm down for a Fox 5 party foul anytime. It's great. Okay, so this one's 5%. Yeah, uh, so Lake Shall we try Lager. It it's a German style Pilsner. Yep. Uh, please have it. Okay. And, uh, I'm it's glad, by the way, I'm glad you poured yourself a glass. Uh, dang right. You don't always do that. So cheers. Cheers Let's to you. Let's try this one. Now, what this is named after. The pub at Lake Cuyamaca, which is a venue that oh, yeah. Tom Nickel just opened with his yeah, partners yeah, yeah. from O'Brien's, uh, Tyson and Christina, shout out. Um, great <laughs> place to spend some time. Look over the lake. You've got a, uh, a great deck out there. Beautiful and just, spot, like, yep. While the day away drinking this, bring your family or leave them at home and have more fun, whatever you want. Mm. This is really, I, you know, I've been kind of getting into the loggers a little bit more. Yeah. I love the good IPA, but I'm, it, sometimes they're too much. Lately, for well, me, the loggers have come on strong. I don't know. What, I don't really know what took so long because we're so sunny out here, mm. and it's just perfect for our climate. But respect for all the German, Czech, and other styles. Listen, of I think I'm drinking a little more than usual today. I love it. I love it. I mean, that's what beer's about. It's great to see that moment when somebody just says, "That's good. I'm going to have a little bit more." You're going to get me in trouble, uh, Brandon. Hopefully, no. Hey, Good it's, trouble. It's your job, uh, not, not mine. Not far from there, we have Julian Beer Company as well, right? Correct. Uh, yeah. So, what makes them stand out? Well, for one thing, they're the largest restaurant in all of Julian. So you go one block north of the SR-79 in Maine, and you get to this place that used to be the Old Bailey Barbecue. 
dude from Pizza Port, founder of Pizza Port, took it over with there his son, and they have revamped it into a great place with, of course, pizza like Pizza Port, but wonderful barbecue. Wow. Uh, the guy just happens to be like a pit master as well. Seems like it's gotten to the point where you say like you were with Pizza Port. That's like a sign, like a, a seal of approval there, and they right. say this, and like you know what you're getting there. Absolutely, as far as brewing and all of that, but th they brew all style of beer, right. a lot of hoppy beers as well. But again, just like them, yeah. they sent us a German style lager, so they understand it's that good. it's summertime. It's, it's summer time to just like have a have a breezy beer yes. to just have. But you can go IPA if you want or anything sure. else there. Let's try it because. By the way, I love the socks. I might just swipe the socks. I think you should. I'm All pretty right. sure they sent it over the so that they could be worn and oh, you wait, could represent. You Cheers. Hold on. Thanks, Julia. Little little lager. Mm. So now you've got two beers. I mean, they're they're this similar is, yeah. in many ways, even to what they're hopped with. That has hollow. And again, this is so the defense. anatomical blonde dry. Actually, for the first time, it is the atomic blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for keeping me honest on this. But yeah, atomic blonde. Yes, that's good. Ooh, that's give it a good shot. Stuff. I also I like the that. Martian over there. If anyone's counting the Martian. Mm -hmm. So man, that's now we gotta go to Julian. Apple I, pie and boom. Good, you drive. Uh, we can get somebody here to do it. A uh, little closer. Okay, this is our last one. Smoking Cannon Brewery. Uh, the only one in Ramona? Do we have more in Ramona? This, was in uh, this Ramona. is the only one in Ramona. So no. you hit up Ramona before you go to Julian on the way back from Julian. See, the Julian. good thing about this is you can go either way, but you've right. got four spots to hit. Perfect. Let's have a really good time. Um, Smoking Cannon is a, okay. kind of a little-known operation, but they win awards and they do a really great job. Sure. Uh, two old friends put this together, mm -hmm. and they've done a, a great job presenting beers that are traditional, but they also have things that have, like, chocolate. Uh, pumpkin in them. They have an ice cream Sunday ale. That's not what we're drinking. Stop it. But we're drinking their California Craft Beer Cup gold medal winning Fuse. That, wow, Fuse Smoked, smoked Rye, rye amber, amber Ale. ale. How about Mar that? On. Pitch okay. perfect. Oh my goodness. They do a lot of live music Friday, Saturday, open mic nights, all sorts of cool stuff, but the smoky flavor in this. Wow. Yeah, now watch this segue. So it's smoky. They name their beers after weaponry and, and artillery from the Civil War. Cool! You can learn about the Civil War while you're there drinking. Smoking Cannon Brewery in Ramona. Uh, and by the way, don't sleep on this, man. This is a San Diego Beer News hat. Look at that. Yeah, anybody huh? want one of those? Hit me up. Info. Brandon, at cheers. We're going to take a picture of this and, and tweet it out. We're going to break the internet with our cool hats, bro. Oh my God. And then tomorrow, um, uh, it's the sock game will be on. Uh, <laughs> We'll who, be right back with the Fox that? 5 Morning News. In the meantime, you know, we're going to keep brother. cheersing and keep cheersing and keep uh, having fun. We'll see you right after the break.